anatomy and physiology is the most interesting and the easiest unit in nursing school or was it just for me like is anatomy and physiology easy for you because i found out that it can only be that way if you apply certain tips that will help you know how to study and how to understand anatomy and physiology so that you can be able to score high when it comes to anatomy and physiology Anatomy and physiology is the foundation of nursing. Like, let me give you an example. Let's say that building you're staying in or maybe that building in your school. If that building did not have a good foundation, maybe by now it could have already collapsed. And that is the same thing with your studies. If you don't have a good foundation in anatomy and physiology, like, your message is going to collapse. Like, so many things are going to collapse because most of the time you need that foundation for you to be able to build, like, a really good understanding of other units that's why i'm telling you anatomy and physiology is like the foundation like you really need to get and grasp your anatomy so well so that when you get to the second year third year everything will just be flowing so let's get to the tips Number one is to be interested, like bring all the interest that you need to bring so that you can be able to fall in love with anatomy. Like you remember in high school, they used to tell us that be interested in mathematics, do it every day, make sure each and every day you do at least, I don't know, 10 mathematics or such, such kind of thing, you remember? So that is the same thing that I'm trying to tell you, like be interested in your anatomy, like make sure it's something that you can even read each and every day. So... The way you can do this is by attending, first of all, attending classes. Like, you should be interested in such a way that you don't miss any class. Like, if you can, don't miss any class. Because I realized that whenever I used to miss any class for anatomy or for medsage, like, like, understanding that topic by myself used to be so hard. Like, if I missed that class, then I took the test book and tried to read it by myself. Like, I never used to get it. Like, I j like until today, there are some topics that I never got, but it's only because I missed that class. So, make sure you attend these classes because there's a way in which the lecturer explains these stuff that make it, makes it just so easy for you to understand. And the moment you just ignore that and you keep on missing classes, like, you're not helping yourself. So, make sure you attend classes if you can. Not if you can attend classes and apart from attending classes because you can be in class and yet your mind is not there so not only attend classes but concentrate in class like i know when you're in your first year there's a lot of things going through your mind you're still thinking about that guy who texted you i don't know that guy who said you look so beautiful and i don't know like there's so many things going through your mind through in first year because you're experiencing so many things Yes, we've all gone through that. Yes, they'll ask you for your number. They'll tell you you're so pretty and you feel like you just want to talk to them 24-7. Those things are things that are going to pass. Let them not, like, take the whole of you. When you're in class, just concentrate. Concentrate and listen carefully. Because when some of these things, especially in anatomy, when they're being explained, the moment you listen to that system being explained, like, that moment when you listen to it and you just concentrate and you go and redo it again like you'll never forget it so the first thing i've said is to be interested number two is to read before and after class like i don't know if we are the same but me i used to be this kind of a person like if i know tomorrow you're going to be taught about the respiratory system like the day before if i'm free i just try and like go through res the respiratory system and just like know what is in there like what kind of things are we being taught in the respiratory system so that when the time the lecturer comes in whenever he's speaking like i feel like everything looks familiar so that's it like you can read before that can really help if you get the time like you can always read before then when it comes to after like whenever the lecturer is done at your time like the time you usually study maybe at night you can redo what you studied in class like you can try and go through your notes what you've written and even take your test books and try and look at maybe something that was not taught in class so that at least you can remember these things because learning is about redoing it like the moment you keep on doing it again and again each and every time it becomes so easy for you so after class you can redo it even when it comes with friends discussions you can redo it so that you don't forget it Number three is use of past papers. I know I've really been preaching about use of past papers in almost all of my videos. And this is because they're really, really important. So most of the time you'll find that after we've done an exam, 
most of the time maybe you'll find two or three questions were set that were not from the notes that you were given by the lecturer and most of the time you'll find the students complaining that the lecturer is not fair and he said to Zico, like his like what was said was out of like the content like this thing is not even in my notes and you're like mm. You need to do an extra, you need to go an extra mile because most of the time the lecturer usually gives you 25%. So you can't be expecting like only that 25% is the only thing that you'll find in exams. And most of the time you find even these exams, they're joint with other colleges. And because they're joint, maybe what the other lecturer told the other students is not the same thing that your lecturer told you because maybe he forgot or maybe you, you get me. So that means you have to be wise. That's why I usually recommend past papers because with past, past papers, you'll realize something that is not in your notes and then you'll just go and check it out from your test books and even from the internet so that's why i really recommend using of past papers number four is use of repetition visual and mnemonics like this is the most important point like this is something that will really really help you repetition visual and mnemonics when it comes to repetition when i said that this video I told you like anatomy requires you to keep on repeating the same thing each and every time and then it will stick so for repetition, you can do so many things, like for group discussions, you know, whenever you sit with someone and you keep on explaining to that person the flow of blood through the heart, you explain to him today, after one week you explain again, that is something you'll never forget. Mm? So you can join group discussions and then that will help you in repeating these things. And not only for group discussions, you know, let me tell you something like, how is it that you are able to cram a certain song from the beginning to the end? It's because you keep on repeating it, you keep on listening, listening to it each and every day then whenever you sit down you start singing it that's how you can remember it like you can remember a song that you had in 2001 and you can still like sing it so well right now it's because of repetition so that's why i'm telling you you can even sit down like look at your mirror and start singing the flow of blood through the heart like whenever you're just seated even in your bed you can it is not like you should always remember about something sometimes you can even sit down and start remembering something in anatomy that you are taught like last week and start just like repeating it and becomes it becomes so familiar to you and then it just sticks like you won't have to read it, read it each and every time because it has stuck on your head another thing is the visual so when it comes to visual i know i've really talked about uh, what do we call youtube videos like you can as always you can as always watch these videos like the ones that they usually explain let's say i was using the example of blood flow through the heart you can as always look for a certain video like that one in youtube so that when you watch it it can you know there's a way in which your eyes capture stuff like whenever you see it it remains in your mind so that even when you're explaining it in exam your mind is just like remembering the way you saw it in a, that picture and it becomes so familiar only because you you saw it then the other way is use of mnemonics like i think mnemonics is something that has really helped me and i think i should be making some shorts video about the mnemonics that i had when i was in nursing school because they really helped me out so when it comes to mnemonics like it is something because you have those words that you've arranged it is something that you'll never forget like i know some are usually weird like i, I used to have this mnemonic for cranial nerves and it used it used to go something like oh 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 to touch and feel a girl's vagina and hymen so like even if it's really weird just have mnemonics for you to be able to like memorize these things because there's so many things to memorize in anatomy we have nerves we have bones we have muscles we have we have so many things so at times you find that mnemonics is a really easy way for you to be able to master these things so you should really make good use of mnemonics and i think i'll make shots on those mnemonics that i learned over nursing school and finally number five is to be you and when i say be you is that don't just go with the flow like only because your group of friends are saying that oh that anatomy teacher is just so boring like i'm not understanding anything i just feel like he's making a lot of noises like i'm going to have friends who will sing such kind of things and then they say ah let's just stay in the hostel and sleep and have like our own time in college and such kind of things sometimes it is better to just do your own thing like if you feel that thing is not going according to your values or according to what you really want you just like just do you you go for that class concentrate in that class like you'll see all the good benefits at the end of it like don't always go with the flow just be you attend those classes do those exams you'll do well finish nursing school and be done with your life like right now it's only one week we after we're done with nursing school and i find that 
I think almost even 90% of those we had in nursing school, like we are almost forgetting each other. So if you are moving with the flow during that time right now, maybe some people are moving with their lives and you're just there stuck. Because most of the time, if when they're moving with the peer pressure, that guy is telling you the way, oh, you should not attend the classes, but that guy already even has a job. So if your mind tells you, concentrate, go to class, you go to class. Don't always move with the flow. And uh, I think those were my tips for doing well in anatomy and physiology. And if you have any other question it comes to anatomy and physiology, you can leave that down in the comment section. Or if you have any other tip that you think is so good for someone who is studying nursing school and is struggling with anatomy and physiology and medical surgical nursing, you can as always leave that down in the comment section and it can be of really good help. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.